Hey everybody, so last weekend I went to Tom Parkinson's house. Tom owns Parkinson's Archery. He builds my bowstrings. Uh, I had a few podium X's I needed to get set up for the year. So this video is gonna kind of detail how I go through that when I do a new set of strings and what I do to the bow to get it all ready to rock and, and uh, feeling as it was before I changed the strings up. So that last clip showed just how beat up my old bow strings were. Uh, we had a good 18 months together, but it was time for some new ones. So first thing I do is I take them off. I take them straight over to the jig. In this case, we used a little John bowstring jig. Uh, you set it to 100 pounds and you measure from post to post on the jig to get your, your lengths. And from there you build to that length. 316 or 45 and 316 some of the materials I like to work with uh, the first one is BCY 452x this is the natural color so it has no wax in it if you're gonna use a colored I recommend using the low wax version um, on the end loops Tom serves them up with the 7000 halo serving my center serving is angel majesty it's a 15 thousands I use a 15 thousands because I use a 32 strand string um, depending on how many strands you have in the string, you'll, you'll either want a 15 thousandths or an 18 thousandths. I love that stuff, stays round, super durable, it'll last longer than the string will. Uh, and then the end servings we do in a 14 thousandths halo, so you can see that there. It's uh, also again very durable. Another thing to point out, I use the majesty on the, the bus cable, that's where the serving is most prone to separation, so the majesty always 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 stays together in that area never had an issue with it so i stick with it everywhere else i use the halo it's a little less expensive and and almost equally as durable So a normal string, a 24 strand string will drop on here about 150 pounds. This 32 strand string only drops 50 pounds. Stops are in at the same time. Draw length is 32 and a half on the nose, which is right where I need it. Perfect. So what we did there, we uh, we used the draw board to get the timing as close as possible. You kind of got to do it in your own hands after that because um, this is a way you, you can have a little change in the draw board versus the release and just a slight timing change and for me the timing on these Spiral Pros is super critical. Uh, I know a lot of guys like to throw out a generalization and say you should have the top cam fast but if you can shoot the top cam fast on this then you're way more of a man than me. Um, I have to have these even or I really struggle to execute shots. So. Uh, we've got the strings all built up, everything is good, draw length is good, poundage is good, and now we just gotta shoot it. So here's my electric teal podium all built back up again. Um, it's 32 and a half inch draw, 58 pounds, it's about 19 pounds of holding weight. One thing I do on, on the Spiral Pros, I go a mod short, so this one has a 32 inch mod, and then 
I long string it a bit to give me a little bit more let off and that gets my draw length back where I need it. Uh, combine that with timing the stops even on the cams and I feel like this is a cam that holds super easy. You can relax in but it still has great performance and is aggressive enough to keep you honest. You'll notice here that my black podium has a three color string whereas my other bow is just a, a solid natural colored string. Um, the, the colored strings, they're cool looking. This bow isn't going to be the workhorse. It's going to play back up so I can do a bow that's kind of cool looking and not have to worry about stability in the string. It's not going to get shot nearly as much. It'll probably end up being a 3D bow so you don't do a whole lot of shots in a day. You don't have to worry about that stability as much as you do say a field tournament in you know 100 degree heat. Um, so that's why I go with all white on this one. I have 32 strands of BCY 452X on string, bus cable, and control cable. Um, I still get about 110,000 center serving diameter, which is right where I want to be. Uh, the natural color is naturally smaller in diameter than some of the fluorescent colors or any of the colors. Um, so what I can do with that is add more strands, but not add more diameter. Something to look at. I know, you know, people like you know, my good buddy Smokey Duramus, he's got shoes that are same color as my scope ring and he wants his, he wants his strings to match, you know, because he's got to be looking fast in the bow just like he's looking fast in his shoes. And it's cool and all, but if you want all out performance, the way to go is with the natural. That was the quick version of what I spent seven hours doing last weekend. Um, everything I do here is number one for durability and reliability. Number two, for feel of the bow, which helps promote good shot execution. I, I don't have any black magic tuning tricks or you know, any form advice that's gonna make you find the 10 ring. Um, archery is, your foundation should be built around your shot execution and your bow's gotta be built around your shot execution as well. So that's what I try to do with my setup. Um, huge thanks to Tom for all the help last weekend and Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, rude remarks, feel free to leave them below and we'll, uh, we'll debate about it.